truth. Or scare. That's right. This is all about truth or scare. So is the tuna fish in your kid's sandwich, is it toxic? Well, here are the cold, hard truths. Truth number one, infected red-eyed herring in Canada are hemorrhaging from every orifice. That doesn't sound that's good. That yeah. doesn't sound good. Truth number two, 330 tons of radiation are spilled daily from the plant in Fukushima, Japan. Ooh, Truth that's number that's three, it. Korea has boycotted Japanese fish, and they are using Geiger counters. Truth number four, American supermarkets are currently selling and carrying fish with levels of radiation present. Truth number five, that radiation from that spill will eventually come to our coasts by 2014. Holy cow. Those are the truths. Now, here are the scares I'm sure everyone out there is thinking about when you hear those truths. Will we ever be able to eat tuna again? Will we be able to swim at our favorite American beaches? Well, those are scares that can lead to some real concerns, so we reached out to the top scientists so we could separate fact from fiction to put your mind at ease. And according to Nicholas Fisher, who is professor of marine and atmospheric sciences at Stony Brook University in New York. He recently completed a study on the fish from Japan. He says this, the radioactivity in the fish was clearly detectable, but only amounted to about 3% above the natural radioactive background in those same fish. I and my team have concluded that there is no serious public health threat to consuming these fish. So it's truth and scary, I don't know but maybe I... not as scary as the truths would lead you to believe. Well, if only 1% of our fish actually comes from Japan, you know, are we really, you know, is this really something that we have to consider every well, time we go to the grocery store? Well, knowing that the radiation store? is coming here, it's in the ocean. Now, that's that's what scares Our me. Alaskan fish is swimming through that that's radiation and we're catching it. But, but you know? the, the scientists are saying, luckily, by the time it gets over to our coasts, it should be dissipated. Again, you know, each Diluted, every day that passes okay. that, the, you know, the radiation levels will decrease. Yeah. I mean, you know, what, if you, what if you, is don't, your old if you don't believe that that is coming, I was actually in Hawaii, and a boat from Japan that was half sunk washed up on the oh shore. Oh my God! That's and it, you were there. Well, yeah, Hawaii's while I was there. Hawaii's going to get hit a lot sooner. Yeah, and half between here and Hawaii, there's actually telephone poles floating in the water from Japan yeah. that That's friends freaky. of mine That's that have scary. hit. In the and the boat. fish yeah. are yeah. glowing yeah, the blue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they're bleeding right. out of their eyes. Hair's falling out. You know, for me, I'm probably not going to panic. I'm still going to go to the beach. But you know, think about. Kids, maybe something to consider mm -hmm. if, if, in fact, levels do get higher. Pregnant women. Sure. We talk about, yeah, I, I know sure. the four of us all love to eat fish, but mm -hmm. I think we think in terms of moderation. You don't want to fi eat yeah. fish every day. Yeah. I think that's important. You know, I've moderated my fish intake just a little bit, and I've increased my fruits and vegetables because we know that can kind of help fight the damage that the uh, radiation is going to Because I've always so. paid attention more so to the mercury levels in the mm -hmm. fish. That was my right. big thing. I don't want too much mercury. Now I have to think about radiation. radiation. Well, I think, I think get a spot on with that, though. I think yeah. mercury is still the bigger danger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You start talking about what we're eating here, and I think if you're going to eat fish, which has great health benefits, and I recommend it a few times a week, you're going to want to choose fish that have lower mercury levels. Yeah. You're going to want to do it in moderation. Radiated. If mm -hmm. the fish is glowing... You probably don't want to eat that. No, but in, in all seriousness, um, is it truth or scare? Is it safe to eat fish? It is safe, safe. but safe. it's scary. Safe. So, truth, yeah. So it, it's still safe to eat fish, just take into account the, the, the points we just made. If you want more information on those chemicals that are in your fish, ranging from mercury levels or radiation into different types of fish, go to the doctorstv.com. We'll have an up-to-date chart available for you there.